I have created one WPF uh, project beside which I need to use HTML page that uh, uh, will be rendered with the help of web browser control. So now we have to look how we can do that. So I have already created one project. You can create your own. So now if uh, we need to add control web browser, we can name it. web browser control so it is ready now so now we need to add one html page which will be rendered inside the web browser control so we are, you have to remember that this is one of the standard way of rendering as any html page in uh, wpf with the help of web browser control so web browser control is just like a normal web browser so in which the way uh, an html page is being rendered the same way web browser control will do so now you, uh, uh, I'm going to show you how will it work. So now on load, I'm going to call one of the HTML page with the help of web browser. So we, I have already named it web browser control. So dot web browser control dot so I have to navigate HTML page in it so for this you have to write the new URI which you are going to pass as a string to it so now there is a very standard example of it I'm going to use W3 school. So if I pass it, rebuild it and run it, you can check whether this uh, HTML page is going to render inside the browser control or not. So, you can see that uh, the standard web browser control of WPF will always cause one issue that is JavaScript. It doesn't have good support of JavaScript due to which if you want to render any HTML page inside the standard web browser control that is provided by Microsoft in WPF will not work. So now the problem is if it is not working then what are the options available for us? have uh, other several uh, packages that we can use for it so now till here you can understand how we can render an HTML page in web browser control so we have to change this web browser control because it is not helpful to us so this is the drawback of standard web browser control provided by Microsoft You can try it on your end, you will face the same type of issue every time now you can see. Every time, every time whenever the piece will try to render it, every time it will show exception. I am unable to understand why Microsoft is not providing the support of JavaScript to it, but this is the problem that we generally face with standard control so it has a render some partial page of it or but it will just uh, there are a lot of javascript has been used uh, by w3 schools website so it will always throw error something like this to us so better would be except of using WPF for standard control we need to use some other package that is help, very much helpful as compared to standard controls so that is for today so you if you are new to my channel please subscribe my channel if you have any questions you can uh, write me in comment I will try to fulfill your uh, fulfill your the answers or if you have any query related to it you can also ask me 
in next uh, video i will explain uh, how we can overcome with the javascript issue in wpf so we have some standard packages that we can use uh, for rendering html pages in web browser control so i'm going to explain it in, it in next uh, video so if you are new to my channel please subscribe my channel press the bell icon so that uh, next time if i prepare any tutorial for you that uh, you can you uh, that can easily be available on your hand uh, also uh, write comments to me that uh, share it share it with your friends thanks thanks for watching